Yo, this your boy Jive Turkey live from the two, one, mother, fucking five. five. What up? I said, what up? What up? What up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, 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 chilling. So as y'all can see, that I'm playing some good old Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And uh, something happened with like Blizzard. Like they're they're gonna be losing sales. They're, they're gonna be losing more sales. Like a lot of people are mad for the Spec Ops thing, and they're, they're just mad at COD for caring about. They, they just made a stupid decision with the Spec Ops thing. I weighed in on it, saying like I didn't care because I don't care, but like. Like, overall, like, if I was in the office at, at that board meeting or wherever, I would have just been like, what are y'all doing? Like, that's just dumb for people to wait a year. Like, a max COD life cycle is a year. So why do you think they'll wait a year to play Spec Ops? You know, like, why do you think they would play Spec Ops after a year? Like, when that year is over, this COD will be irrelevant. The new Treyarch COD or the new... I don't even know who develops for these guys anymore, but the new Treyarch or whoever... Uh, sp whoever... They got, like, an eagle or whatever. Whoever they are. The new whoever they are COD will be out, you know? So it's just stupid to say, hey, let's, uh, let's have Spec Ops for a year. For, for PlayStation and, and, you know, and then PC and Xbox get it after a year. That's just dumb. But anyway, they did something like, like I think it was a, a pro player that plays a game called Hearthstone. So he plays Hearthstone and he spoke his mind on, I think he's from Hong Kong and there's a lot of drama going on in Hong Kong. And... My homeboy Slasher, he's like a, a esports news dude, and he posted it, and I'm like, wow. I didn't really read into it as much because, like, I don't care about Hearthstone or that much about esports, like, in general, you know? So I didn't really read into it, but I'm like, oh God, it's Blizzard, it's it's Activision, and you know, it's gonna be some people that just don't want to support Activision when they do dumb stuff. They're all, a lot of people are already mad at COD for doing dumb stuff, and then Blizzard Activision do this, and they're just not going to buy COD because they don't want to support Blizzard Activision. They're just doing dumb moves all over, left and right, and it's nothing you can do. Like, the... The first thing I talked about was very stupid, the Spec Ops thing. And then this thing, this is like on a whole nother level, on like a political level. But it's it's just dumb. Like, let people speak their mind, even though they're not in America. They, they don't have that, it's a free country thing to sit on. But let people speak their minds, man. Anyway, uh, another thing I wanted to weigh in on was Dame Dalla and Shaquille O'Neal got a battle going on. And they are getting it on. Like him and Shaq are getting it on. Dame Dalla is Damian Lillard from the Portland Trailblazers. And of course, everybody knows who Shaquille O'Neal is. And, <laughs> and Shaq dropped a Barkley line. Why did you do that to Charles Barkley, man? <laughs> Barkley probably like, what the fuck? See, all right, here, here, here we go, right? Uh, Dame Dalla, I think that's his rap name. I, I, I don't know his rap name, but he can rap. He's a fucking hot rapper. He's a very good rapper. So Damian, Damian, Lillard, Damian Lillard was on a show. I don't know who was interviewing him, and they said... Uh, who's the best um, basketball rapper or whatever? And he like, I'm the best rapper. Like, like they're like, oh, not Shaquille? And, and he like, man, we don't look at Shaq as a rapper. We just look at it as Shaq rapping. So Shaq dropped a diss, right? It was hot. Dames was better because I, I was explaining to people, I rap, if y'all didn't know, I rap. 
And I was explaining to people, when you go second, when you go second, it don't matter if, if you're a okay rapper, if you go second, you should win in an on-track battle. Not a face-to-face -face battle, but on track. You supposed to fucking win that round if you go second, right? So Dame, Shaq dropped his diss. Of course, I'm sure he was expecting Damian, Dame Lillard to drop his diss back. So Shaq dropped his diss and Dame diss back. Dame's was better. I like, I like Shaq's and Dame's was second and he had more material to take from Shaq Shaq's first um, diss track to put into his. Like, he'll have more material to talk about. He could talk about what Shaq was talking about in his track. So, Dame won that first round to me because he went second. And then this second round, like, Dame is, like, Dame is a l lyrically better rapper than Shaq. But Dame dropped another one. Like, he, he, did, he went first and he dropped another one. And to tell you the truth, like, his raps were better. Like, his raps sound better. He, he got a better flow. You know, like, lyrically, that's what I mean. Not a better flow, but he's lyrically more inclined than Shaquille O'Neal. But I think he speaks the things that he say just isn't true. Like, he said the, the Shaq, uh, Kobe got you them rings. And, and, like, come on. It sound nice. It sounds beautiful. But... It's, it's not true. Like, we all know Shaq three. He, he won the MVP all three times in, in, them, in them songs. Like, he, I'm, not in them songs, in those finals. He won the MVP all the time. And then he talk about music. He talk about basketball. And then when he open up his second rap, he talk about Skip and Shannon can't save you. This is rap. It's not sports. Uh, you just said... You, you was just talking about Kobe and, and basketball and, and, you know, if it's rap, talk about rap. That, that, you know, like, like you got to speak sense. You got to speak sense in these battle raps. And then Shaq just used, Shaq went second the second time, which I, I, I don't know why Dame dropped the second one. He should have just kept it on ice. Waited for Shaq to diss him again and then came back again and probably added some more stuff to it because he would have more ammo. You got to think strategic, man. You got to think strategic. So Shaq came back with second round knockout and I got to give the nod to Shaq in this run because and if, if they end it here, Shaq got to win because he opened it up. He opened up the battle and then he ended the battle. So if Dame don't come back, like I don't I don't see it going past one more. Like one more maybe, and then that's it. So if Dame don't come back, you know, it's just gonna be Shaquille O'Neal uh by default. Because his second one was better. He had way more ammo. He spoke way more facts than Dame. So that's it. I'm out. And remember, Shaquille O'Neal is the jive turkey of big men. I'm out. I'm out.